Hello everyone, today I want to show you how I turned this 1990 beat down bathroom into this 2024 work of art. Let's begin. I control the dust on all my drop sites by having an excellent dust extraction device. Here you see me removing the window pane and cutting out a piece of vapor barrier to size. I then take the vapor barrier to the window and then use the appropriate holes to measure out everything. Then I'll be able to cut a hole in there and put the hole through. This way, all the dust during the demolition will be vented out. Next, we get to removing the doors. I loosen the screws on the top and the bottom hinge as the door itself was falling apart. I then remove the vanity door, the medicine cabinet, shower curtain rod, and other fixtures in the bathroom. I start to remove this tile section of the wall to prepare the vanity top to be removed. I cut out the caulking and chip away all the tiles, trying to save the drywall in this case. I then take off the light fixture to make sure the mirror does not extend behind it. Tape is placed over the mirror to make sure it does not break off into sharp, small pieces. The first step to remove the top is to remove the overflow cover and the handle cover. The tiles there are already coming off, so I just took them off. I remove the tile wall by knocking out the drywall behind it and then removing the tile and the drywall at the same time. Here you can see how much mold there is around the control valves. This second wall is a little bit harder to remove because there is no stud behind it. It's placed onto a solid sheet of another drywall, so I had to carefully chip everything out. You can see without waterproofing, these old showers have a lot of mold in them. You are living with this every single day as you shower. This is very bad for your house. Third wall to the shower surround is again chipped off piece by piece. This mirror was stuck on the drywall really good. I had to cut the drywall all around it and then take the mirror and the drywall off at the same time. With the wall out of the way, now we get to remove the countertop and the vanity. I first start by removing the sink and then pry off the vanity top. With the vanity fully out of the way, we move on to the toilet. The shuttle valves are way too old, so I had to turn off the water to the entire bathroom to be able to turn the water off. Usually you can separate the toilet's water tank from the bowl. This one was really stuck on. The easier solution was just to break it off. Removing the two nuts on either side of the toilet, and then the bowl can be taken off. I prepare a garbage bag in advance to catch all the remaining water that's inside. Covering the drain so no sewer gas comes in, we move on to the bathtub, slowly prying it out. It's really stuck in there, so we have to use a lot of force. 